This is the solution to written homework 17. <coughs> so it says determine the natural domain and also solve. Okay, so then the natural domain. So that's the set of all x's for which uh, the left and right hand side both can be evaluated. <coughs> well, the left hand side, you can plug any x into that that you want, that's a polynomial. You could plug in 10, that'd be fine. Uh, the right hand side is a constant, so it doesn't even depend on x, so you can plug in any x at all. <coughs> so that means that the natural domain is all x, there's no restriction written in interval notation, this is negative infinity to infinity. Now that doesn't mean that any x solves the equation. Because for example, when x is zero, the equation reads half is 31 over six, which is an equation, but it's false. So zero is not part of the solution. So for the solution, take that two-thirds, so that'd be two-thirds x, and we'll move the half to the other side, so it is equal to uh, 31 over 6 minus half. The least common multiple of 6 and 2 is 6, so this will reckon this as being 3 over 6, so 31 over 6 minus 3 over 6 is 28 over 6. So that would be 14 over 3. And then multiplying by the reciprocal, that would be 3 halves multiplied by 14 thirds. 3's cancel, the 2 and the 14 cancel to give you 7. So the way to interpret that, it's saying <coughs> that you can evaluate this equation at any x, but the only place it's going to evaluate true is at 7. Okay, so part b, the natural domain. So we can already see that you cannot evaluate this equation at negative 1 uh, because this term would have a division by 0 and you cannot divide by 3 because this term would have a division by 0 so let's factor that and obtain the following so this is 5 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x minus 3 is negative 6 and then let's factor that quadratic that would be uh, two numbers whose product is negative 3 and sum is negative 2. So how about uh, x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 3? And just as a coincidence, these, these two factors didn't introduce any new uh, divisions by 0, potential divisions by 0. So this factor, this right here and this right here, each are saying that you cannot eval evaluate at x is negative 1 because those would cause divisions by 0 and these two are saying that you cannot evaluate at 3 so cannot evaluate at 3 cannot evaluate at negative 1. So the natural domain, if you were to plot it, looks like this. It looks like a line, a number line, where you have every single point except negative 1 and 3. But you have every other point. And then written as in interval notation, as requested, it'll be the union of this interval, that interval, and that interval. So negative infinity to negative 1, that's the first interval, union 
negative 1 to 3 union 3 to infinity. And then the solution Okay, starting from this equation, we'll multiply both sides by the denominator of the right-hand side. That would be x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 3. The left-hand side is going to be multiplied by that, so 5 over x plus 1 plus uh, 1 over x minus 3. <coughs> Uh, is equal to negative 6 because we multiplied this denominator to the left hand side. Okay, and then when this distributes in, there is some cancellation. So that would be x plus 1 times x minus 3 times 5 over x plus 1 and then plus x plus 1 times x minus 3 over x minus 3 is negative 6. The x plus 1's cancel, the x minus 3's cancel, and we have x minus 3 times 5 plus x plus 1 is negative 6. So this would be 5x minus 15 and plus x plus 1 is negative 6. So 5x plus x, well that's 6x's, so 6x. And then negative 15 plus 1, that's minus 14. That's negative 6. So then 6x, adding 14 to both sides is 8, so x is 4 thirds. So the meaning of this is, is that this equation that we started with, it is not possible to plug in negative 1, it is not possible to plug in 3, but you could plug in anything else. However, the only time that this equation is going to evaluate true is when you plug in x is 4 thirds. Every other time it will be false.